Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 11 homework. Get your name down first. Don't forget it. Take care of it first. Uh, we're, um, we're working on what we know and what we don't know when we're writing an addition sentence. So we have an addition number sentence like this one here, A. And these are going to be a little tricky in the beginning, but you get used to them, I think, pretty quickly. Um, we have, we're used to seeing two add-ends where we know the two numbers we're adding, but we don't know the total and we just count them to find the total. But this is going to be a little bit different. What if we know, what happens if we know one of the numbers we're adding and we know the total, we can, how do we figure out what the other add-end is? So there's like a change and we're adding more, but we don't know what we, what's unknown is how much more we had to add. So this is how you figure that out. And that's what we're practicing. Uh, it says use the five group cards to count on, and that's how we're going to do it. To find the missing number in the number sentences. So this is all going to be finding out what is the missing number that we have to add to get the right total. And you just count on to do it. And the uh, five group cards, in case you don't know, this is, this is what they look like. They'll have like this box right here. That's like a picture of a card. It'll have a number on one side and it'll have dots on the other. So one card would have a two. It would have a two on one side, like this one here, and then it'll have a well, two dots on the other side of the card. So let me draw what this is. So we have two. We need a total of seven. So here's two. How many cards? How many dots do I have to draw to get up to seven? So two. That's three total now, right? Four. Now there's four dots on both cards. Five, six, seven, and that's it. I stop at seven. Because I only needed seven. How many dots did I have to add? One, two, three, four, five, five more dots. And that's how we're going to do all these. You might want to just, you know, if you can, pause it and then see how you do for the rest of them. Now that you've seen an example, maybe you can do all the rest of them without any help. All right. And now, and be careful with these because now, right? This is these. Some of these are going to be backwards addition sentences. We're starting with the total now, and here we're going to have now we're going to have the two add-ends here. So we have a total of eight, and it's going to equal five. Here's the five: one, two, three, four, five. How many do we have to add to get up to eight? That's five. So six, seven, eight. We had to add three more. And then here we have, we're looking for a total of nine. We're not adding nine and seven. That's not a, this is not a plus sign, it's an equal sign. We're not adding nine and seven. We have a total of nine and it equals seven plus, we don't know how much more yet because we haven't figured that out. Maybe you already know it, but this is how you figure it out. So seven, that's the one that's right here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is how many more we need for a total of nine. That's two more we needed. And our last one on this page, we have, again, we have the total first in this case, right? Because there's the equal sign. Nine equals something plus nine. Well, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the nine, this is the, bat, the other side of that nine, right? And so, that's it. We already have nine. We can't add any more circles. Zero. Now this one, uh, we have match the number sentence to the math story. And draw a picture or use your five group cards to solve. So really, I'm going to have to zoom out to kind of show you the whole page here. And you can see what we have is match the number sentence to the math story. So we have, here we have one, we have three different number sentences here. 
And when we're done, we're going to match them up to this. We have two stories, and we're going to just draw a line and match up which number sentence goes to which story. Let me zoom back in so it's easier to see what we're doing. Okay, so uh, it says to draw a picture or use your five group cards to solve, because these are word problems. We're going to RDW, right? Read, draw, write for all word problems every day. Scott has okay, Scott has three cookies. His mom gives him some more, and now he has eight. How many cookies did his mom give him? So I'm going to draw a picture here. If you have your five group cards, you can use them to figure this out. Uh, but I, you, you really should draw this picture too. So here, okay, Scott has he starts out with three cookies, and his mom gives him some more. We don't know how many more. But then at the end he has eight, so it's three, and we're gonna just count up to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I needed five more dots, so his mom gave him five more cookies. And so that is gonna match up with this number sentence here. Three plus, we didn't know how many cookies, right? That's the question mark, right? We didn't know how many more. It said some more, but we didn't know exactly how many more. So it turned out that it was five, five more. And that's this number sentence. I'm going to scroll back. I may have to zoom back out here and see how this works out. Because so we're going to have to see all the number sentences. And we're looking at this story here. Kim sees six birds in the tree. Some more birds fly in. Kim sees nine birds in the tree now. How many birds flew to the tree? So some more birds fly in. We don't know exactly how many birds fly in, but we knew that there were six. Then there are more, so we're adding, but we don't know how much we're adding. And then there are nine. And now this one here starts with a four, so that doesn't really make sense, and it ends up with an eight. We need to start with six, add some more, and have a total of nine. So that's... That's the first number sentence up here where we start here. Where we start with six, we add some more, and then we end up with nine. And that's some more, that's there's a question mark there because we, we that's what we have to figure out. I mean it's pretty easy to figure out, but we're just keeping track of what we know, what we don't know, what we have to figure out. So uh, our we would start with a six, and then we would have to seven, eight, nine. It's three more that we had to add. Three more flew to the tree. 